First log into your cPanel account at hostarmor.com forward slash cPanel. Once you're logged in, scroll down until you find the Base Kit Site Builder icon under the Software and Services section. Click the icon. Now set up Base Kit for any domain name hosted on your account by clicking the blue gears icon. Enter a preview URL. This will let you view and edit the site before publishing it. You can name this whatever you would like, but it is best to use the name of your website. Click the yellow Finish Setup button, then wait and click the Start Building button after. If you want, you can also come back to this page at a later time to continue. BaseKit will now load and present you with a list of templates. Click any photo from the left hand side to view a preview. You can also view different categories or search for a template. There are hundreds, so take your time and pick one you really like. For this demonstration, we will use the Green World template. Once you've found the template you want, click the blue Create Your Site button. You will now be presented with the Base Kit editing screen. Click different elements of the page to edit or delete them. By clicking the gear icon, you can change the settings of that element. Edit text by double clicking and then clicking on the line of text to edit it. You can edit colors, styles, and formatting using the available options. Click elsewhere to exit editing mode. Certain areas of the template will require you to unlock for editing, and others you can simply edit. You can easily drag and drop elements of the site into place, and BaseKit will align them. Add more widgets to the site simply by dragging them onto the template. Delete widgets by clicking the red X icon. Sometimes widgets will require realigning to better fit into the design. Near the top, you can add or edit website pages quickly. Each page is loaded as a full preview to allow for what you see is what you get editing.
you can hide the base kit toolbar for a larger preview. The theme toolbar will give you options for changing colors, fonts, and backgrounds for the entire template. You can even upload your own images for use with the site. When you're finished with the design, you can click Preview to view a full preview of your template. Click back on the design link if you need to edit your site again. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can move on. If you click the Themes link, you will be given the option to change your site theme. This is not recommended after you have changed content though. It is best to choose the theme before making any edits. This will ensure your content is placed properly within the design. Clicking Manage will give you access to many of BaseKit's advanced features. The first page handles basic site settings like title, description, analytics code, and your favicon. The page will also show a preview screenshot when the site has been published. The SEO link will allow you to improve your search engine ranking and help your site to be found by various search engines. If your site is used for e-commerce, the e-commerce link will let you add payment information for use with your website. The comments link lets you control any comments left on your website if you have a comments widget active. Database will allow you to control the storage of information left by visitors who fill out forms on your website, including contact forms. Clicking Reset Site will give you the option to delete the entire website and start over with a new template. If you click the Publish link, your new site can then be launched. After the site is published, let your friends know about it by clicking the Facebook or Twitter links. Lastly, when you return to cPanel and want your website to be live, 
make sure you switch it from the test domain to your actual website, for instance, example.com.